you know, this is their home. You know, they, they're here to, you know, learn. Um, this is their livelihood. They came here to, you know, have their friends, work with them and their teachers. Edward Garcia is a Leadership Academy teacher at EL School who has been finding new ways to connect with the students through virtual learning. The best part is when we did a lot of group work in breakout rooms. And the breakout rooms actually got them started in thinking better and they got their feedback. Technology brought their hearts and minds. It opened them up to see like, wow, there is a world still out there. For Mr. Garcia, finding new ways to connect with his students has provided a new joy for his passion of education. The power of education is where the heart is. And I hold that deeply because my passion of teaching and my passion of uh, making sure that our, our future has education in the background. And I think that's the beauty of the magic there where we will touch everybody's lives in one way or the other. And I think that's where the heart is. And I hold it deeply there. Similar to Mr. Garcia, Shelly Dehelig has discovered new ways to connect in her field of ICU nursing. Making sure that the patients feel comfortable with me taking care of them and having that rapport with them is really important for me as a nurse. Love and people and connecting to a person that way um, really does help a person heal. Although Shelly devotes herself to caring for her patients, she also makes sure to leave time for having fun with her family. I remember my kids when they were younger because I used to stay home with them a lot and then when they got older we kind of like drifted apart a little bit and all of our interests were different. So in this time, we're able to do things and explore things together as a family that we wouldn't normally do. Like, I didn't know that my kids would like fishing so much. Realizing that my kids are still, um, are still connected to me has been nice. Like, when, I guess when you think about love, you're thinking about an emotion that's something that's not tangible. But for me, um, love can be tangible because I'm putting all of that emotion into my family and my husband and my kids and where I work and pride in where I work and what I do, pride in my, my kids and our relationship with each other, that's where my heart is and that's where I live and where my home is. This is Elias Tokuoka from EL School for Hikino.